Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about overhead, the overhead of a law practice and how you can address the issues that come up. There are three elements. One is facilities, the space you rent. The second is the people, the talent that you have to support your efforts. And the third is finances or the money and the flow of money that helps you grease the skids, so to speak. When we're talking about these three elements, I think we have to put it into a context, sort of a formula that I like to think about. And the formula is a basic accounting formula. Profits equals revenue minus expenses. Most lawyers start focusing in on the expenses, especially in times like we're experiencing today where they want to cut back on the overhead. And today we're going to talk a little bit about what you can and what you cannot cut back. But I want to come back to this topic and suggest to you that reviewing your overhead while good is not an all-encompassing effort, that you, you should not be obsessive about the kinds of expenses or the amount of the expenses that it takes to run your office. And I'll suggest why in a moment. First, overhead expense, the people. You p have to pay a competitive price in order to get quality talent. In my experience years ago, I saw where people would not be willing to pay the kind of money needed to get the, the kind of talent that would help them go from where they were to the next higher level. Now, there are lots of ways of paying people. You don't have to put dollars on the table necessarily. Many people will work for a feel-good environment. Many people will work for a partnership interest. There are many ways of compensating people, but the point I want to make here is this is not an area where you can or should uh, scrimp. Talent is what makes your world and my world go round. The next area is the area of facilities, real estate, office space. The issue in terms of determining what your rent should be and therefore what the percentage of your gross revenue should be is a complex one. How old are you? Are you in the latter part of your career and want to have more comfort? Are you in the early part of your career and are willing to sacrifice some of the creature comfort, so to speak. What is it that your clientele expect? Do they expect you to be in a high-rise, high, rise, high uh, uh, very expensive uh, environment? Or are they okay because perhaps they don't even come to your environment, your office space, with you having space elsewhere? These are all factors and many more that go into the decision of how much you should pay for rent and where your office should be. Another element of overhead is the expense that you uh, devote to marketing, business development. And of course, during tough times, this is one area that you clearly do not want to cut. Jack Welch of General Electric, formerly of General Electric, said that their marketing expense went up during bad times, but he did not scrimp on marketing expense during good times because he wanted to make sure that their customers were aware of General Electric so that in bad times it would be easier to continue the business relationship. So marketing and business development are very important expenditures and we'll talk about that issue on another occasion. Technology is another expenditure which many people think not as an investment but rather as an expense. Technology should be purchased when it can produce an ROI, return on investment. If it can, and the, re and the ROI is a relatively high ROI, or said another way, the payback for the investment that you make is 6 to 12 months, that's an expenditure that you want to think seriously about making. These are just several elements of the overhead that we need to consider. Having said all of that, let me give you the formula again. Profit equals revenue minus expenses, and you can never spend enough to offset a low R, a low revenue. You will 
substantially more quickly increase your profits by increasing your revenue in a service organization. That's it for today. I look forward to chatting with you again in the near future.